What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, which is a little bit different for this channel, but I'm going to be doing a tutorial of a piece of software that I use to create audio and a really cool feature that I found to show you how to loop audio for your projects if you use this specific software. So uh, before we jump into that, I just want to say that if this is your first time to the channel, welcome to Plug and Play. If you like this video tutorial, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel hit that bell notification so you don't miss any other videos. But without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. All right, guys, so I use, uh, you know, when I'm creating my videos, when I'm creating my reviews normally for this channel, I use software called uh, Cyberlink Power Director to do my video editing, and I edit all of my audio in Cyberlink Audio Director. Today, I just wanted to show you a feature that I ran into. So if you use Cyberlink Audio Director and you make YouTube videos where you, you know, you get audio, you know, you get your music tracks from, you know, like Epidemic Sound or other services like that, um, and you want to create a track that matches the exact length that you need. So the exact size of the video, um, <clears throat> which can change. So my videos, for example, range anywhere from five minutes to about eight minutes, somewhere in that realm. And so finding tracks every time, every time I have to seek, I have to look for a new track, right? I have to find a new song to fit the video. Um, and then I have to find one that fits the length and it's just, or I have to play two songs. Um, but if I want to create, if I want to find a song that I really, really like, if I found the music that I want to use for the entire video and it's not the right length, I found out that in audio director, there's a really cool feature that allows you to really quickly and easily loop a track to fit the exact size that you need, which totally cut down on the amount of editing time that I had to do. Normally, I would find the music, throw it into Audacity, find a loopable section, cut that out, and then paste it in as many times as I needed to to make the track fit. And it, it, it just added, like, it probably added at least 20 minutes to half an hour of time per video um, just getting the music right. And so, super obnoxious and I found that audio director has a really cool solution for that and that's what I wanted to show you guys today so with all that said don't want to waste any more time let's jump into the tutorial all right guys so I'm just going to show you the flow on how this works from kind of from beginning to end if I can as close as I can so I found a track that I really like uh, which is this one here up and try by DJ Mason I don't know um, it's got a really cool feel it's 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 going to be used in my next video so I, this is actually going to be something that I'm going to be doing here um, and so what I find if I look down here at the bottom right and I can see the wavelength patterns for this specific song and I can tell that there is some stuff in here that looks very loopable and what that means is that there's a segment in here where I could easily see myself cutting it and then looping that section right that makes it easy for the software you know it doesn't work really well with um I've tried it with with songs that don't have a good loopable type of, of rhythm um, and it doesn't work that well. So you want to find a good, you know, electronic music, hip hop sometimes, you know, beats, things like that will have a really good loopable section. So anyway, I picked the song, downloaded it to my computer. I'm going to drag this guy over here up into this top little window up in the top left corner and I'm going to drop it in. And so basically audio director analyzes it and throws it into the editing window. Now, um, you're not, this is it. That's all you're going to do on this screen here. You're not going to do anything else to it unless you want to tweak the, the music and the audio levels or anything like that. You can do that yourself if you want to, but that's not what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So then what we do is up here at the top, you're going to see that there is a mix tab, right? We're going to click on the mix tab and we end up here, which is basically just another empty space, but we see that our track is still available up here in the left corner. We're going to drag this guy over right up here to this top track and we're going to throw it in place. And so now what we can see is we've got the track up here and we can see that this track is currently three minutes and 15, uh, three minutes and 15 seconds, right? And so let's say, for example, we needed this track to be, I don't know, let's say six minutes and 25 seconds, right? Let's just use some kind of crazy number here. And so it's really, really simple. All you have to do is click on the track. Okay. We got the track selected here. We go over here to adjust audio drop down on the left side right here. We got the adjust audio. We're going to click adjust length auto remix. We're going to click on this guy and it's going to analyze the, the track itself right away. And so basically what it's doing is it's looking for where it's, it thinks it's going to be able to loop this track. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's say six minutes. This is the new audio link. This is how long we want this song to actually be. So we're going to go to six minutes. In 25 seconds, you can adjust this. We can make this zero um, to make it a nice six minutes. So as soon as I did that and I clicked out of that, that length, 
it already has changed up here, okay? So now if we look, this track is much, much longer. If we go to the very end, there it is. It's at six minutes and 25 seconds on the dot. And so it's already done the work for us. Now what I'm looking at is if you look at this track here, and we're gonna scroll by a little bit, as you go along, you're gonna notice that there's these little squiggly, these gray squiggly lines. That's where the looping took place. So it has looped right from that point and moved forward. So let's start the song somewhere right over here and let's hear if it's a smooth transition between the loop because sometimes it's not. So let's go ahead and play this track and see what it sounds like. So watch right here. Watch right here as we get towards this, where this little squiggly line is. That's where the looping took place. So let's see if it just sounds like it's smooth. Smooth as butter. So what it did basically is it has created now a perfectly looped segment and made this song the exact length that I want for my video. Um, like I said, you might have to tweak it a little bit and kind of play with uh, some of the other settings. You can, if you go into this, if you click this little gear icon right over here by the new audio length, you go into advanced mode. And so sometimes you'll get a song where it gets right to the transition and it sounds like it skips a little bit or does something kind of funky. Um, and what you can do is you can adjust how how big the segment the loop segments are um, and kind of clean it up and that what it does is it causes it to pick different portions so let's drop this down to say 20 right and now you'll notice that there's there's multiple looping points now um, and so it changes the whole feel of the song so now what you're going to see is that the beginning is very different than the middle loops 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 right it looks very very similar all the way through and then it gets down to the end when the looping ends like that. And so you can kind of play with it, adjust the length a little bit, kind of figure out what sounds best. I just got lucky. I just left it on 100% and it just made a perfectly loop track and it just sounds fantastic, which is super awesome. So once that's done, you just hit apply. It's going to create the track just like that. Um, and then basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit produce, this produce button right here. Um, you tell it where you want it and you hit produce and it's gonna spit out the audio track um, in whatever format you choose, and it's gonna be the perfect size for you. So again, <clears throat> that is how you do seamless looping of audio tracks in Cyberlink Audio Director. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below or give it a thumbs up just so I know that you guys like this stuff. Maybe I'll make more of this stuff as I learn these pieces of software. I'm always finding little tidbits like this. So if this was helpful for you, please let me know again down in the comments below. Again, check out the links in the description if you're looking, if you're interested in what Cyberlink has to offer you for Audio Director and Power Director and some of the other software that they have. But other than that, guys, that's it for me, and I will see you very soon in the next review.